in this session we're going to see uh, how to create a traffic manager profile for uh, load balancing uh, or for distribution of traffic between different uh, endpoints in Azure so for this demo I have uh, two VMs or two servers which I want to call it and uh, both the uh, VMs have public IP address and uh, domain names enabled Okay, so all I need to do is uh, I need to add uh, these servers as endpoints in the traffic manager. So let's go ahead and create a traffic manager first. Go to marketplace and then uh, in search option you can type traffic manager. Okay, select the traffic manager profile. Click on create. Okay, enter a name for the traffic manager profile. For instance, I if I have to load or uh, distribute traffic to my website, I will I say something like um, so this will be the fully qualified name for my traffic manager that is websites test or traffic manager dot net and uh, routing method uh, it depends on the requirement so if you choose performance routing method the the incoming callers get the server which is closest to them right and uh, weighted method it is wo it works as a round robin fashion that is uh, all the endpoints have equal weighted so one request will be routed to each one of them and uh, priority method it works simply like your load balancer that is you know if one endpoint goes down only then the second endpoint uh, is returned right and geography it works based on the location okay let's start with the, the priority one and uh, just um, okay and uh, traffic manager is a global profile it doesn't have a the location right so just say create Okay, once uh, the traffic manager is created, you just click on the traffic manager and uh, you would see this option that is configuration and endpoints. Okay. So the configuration blade uh, simply has uh, the routing method that you've selected and uh, uh, other settings which decide on how often you want to. Uh, check the endpoint. So here we are monitoring endpoint on port 80. So if you want to choose a different port, you can choose it. And a path you can enter uh, a custom path if you have a customized web page on your uh, website which you want to use for monitoring the health status, right? And uh, the time to live determines on how often uh, the cache should be refreshed, right? And uh, go to endpoints option. and uh, click on add if your endpoints or if your servers are completely in azure so select azure endpoint and give a name let's say i'm going to add first server and um, i need to select I'm going to select the IP address of the first server. 
so that that becomes added as a endpoint so we need to repeat this for the number of servers we have for our case we have two endpoints so i'm going to add the second one now i'm going to select the azure endpoint again and uh, i'm going to add the server two and um, okay so yeah so we have added both the endpoints to traffic manager so it was a conflict with the name so i need to re-enter the name again okay so i added both the endpoints here now if the endpoints are outside azure let's say if the endpoint is in uh, AWS or some other hosted cloud select external endpoint option right and then enter the FQDN name that is fully qualified domain name of that server and uh, add that as an endpoint okay so now both the servers are added now all I need to do is um, I need to take the URL of the traffic manager and uh, try to browse So I use the traffic manager URL instead of the application server URL. So it went to one of the servers. So to see which server it went, we can actually use a command called nslookup from the command line. Okay. So if you run this command, you can actually see which server the request is going to. So it went to the second server. Right. So, yeah, so you can um, change the configuration and uh, just to try with different workloads and uh, you can try with the round robin method. So now all the endpoints become of equal weightage. So there is no priority. So all the endpoints have the equal weightage and uh, the traffic is distributed equally. So let's say there are two requests, one will be given here and one will be given here and if the weight is more than or if the weight is different so the one which has the least weight takes the priority or the more weight one and if one of the endpoint is down the endpoint status is marked as disa or uh, endpoint status is marked as degraded and that endpoint is not given to the incoming uh, callers right so with this um, i'll end the session of traffic manager